welcome to day three of the Fort Francis Canadian Bass Championships right here on Shaw TV. I'm Jessica Cable, joined once again by Janice Gummison. Janice, day three, this is the final day. I know, and it should be exciting. I love day three because anything can happen today. And there's a lot up for grabs, nearly $70,000 in cash prizes, 20 grand going to the champions. So uh, let's take a look at the top 10 after day two. Well, there are a few people in the top 10 that have won this tournament before. Uh, team number four's Dennis Bernard, has, he's from Fort Francis and he has won this tournament before. As well as team number 36, Mark Ravley and Mike Lumen, they won the Fort Francis Bass uh, Championships in 2012 and they still hold the record for the biggest catch of 22.28 pounds. And that was in 2002, so who knows, they may break, somebody may come in and break it or who knows. All right, we also have a lot of family teams in the top 10 after day two. Uh, Luke and Braille Levesque, they are our father-son team from Fort Francis. This is their first time fishing together in this tournament and they've done pretty well so far. Uh, they had the big catch on day one with 18.79 pounds and that is still the big catch of the tournament. And sitting in first place is a brother pair, Steve and Scott Sandberg from Minnesota and we were talking to their dad actually right before we went to air just a few minutes ago and he says he is super excited that uh, both of his sons are in this tournament and that they are doing so well so he's hoping for the best today and they did have a good day yesterday they were the ones that brought in the big fish from yesterday at four and a half pounds all right janice well you are going to head inside the tent and i can imagine it's going to be uh, pretty crazy in there today it will be I'm, I'm looking forward to it i was talking to a few of the committee members earlier today and they said they're expecting more people into the big white tent today for the boat parade than last year and last year there was a lot of people and it was it was it was pretty crazy We'll head in there in just a bit, but first let's take a look at the action from day two. Let's head inside the tent to check in with the first couple weigh-ins. The tent and the arena here in Fort Francis, uh, more often than a lot of the spectators, they were uh, perennials. We've got uh, some past champions. We've got some guys that have won the KBI. We've got guys that have had success in Shabandawan, and a few guys that have uh, seen multiple successes down in Minnesota and Wisconsin. So it's gonna get exciting a little bit later. Here comes team number 30, joining us from Thunder Bay, Ontario. We have Kevin Ritchie and Kyle Hur Hillary. 20.88 pounds on day one and two was their total. Looks like uh, pretty consistent, guys. Yeah, that's what we're aiming for, be consistently at the bottom. <laughs> well, you got your five fish each day, which is, uh, which is good and, and not easy by any stretch of the imagination. Let's have a look at your day three weight. Eleven point zero two pounds for Kevin and Kyle today gives them thirty two point four zero pound three day total. All right, we hope you guys are back to join us next year. All right, thanks guys. The majority of the anglers you're going to see in the first group here are guys that are fishing in the second division. After day one and two, we rank them by, the, uh, by their positions. They keep their weights and then they, uh, they try for the division two prize and then the division one prize. So a lot of these guys are in the division two. And uh, these gentlemen here, they left today in 59th position from International Falls, Minnesota. Team number 60, Larry and Todd Bolig. Todd, how you doing, buddy? Good, how are you? I'm doing fantastic, thanks. 
What was it like out there today? You had a little bit of wind and sunshine, kind of a combination of day one and two put together. Yeah, the weather was perfect all day, and we caught a ton of fish and had a really good time. Awesome. Let's have a look at 13.89 pounds for Larry and Todd. 38.94 pound, three-day total. Nothing wrong with that, fellas. Well, it's still a good lake. All right. Thanks, Larry. Todd, hope to see you gentlemen again next year. More anglers coming up on stage from Sioux Narrows, Ontario. We have Jim and Larry Ducharme. Okay, folks, it's Saturday. When I say the names, you guys clap and make noise. No how about that? that It'll go a lot easier. Jim, how you doing, my friend? Good, a lot of fish today. Uh, only one big, really nice one, but not big enough to weigh. And uh, it was just, uh, it was nonstop all day. So we had a lot of fun. Well, fun is good. You guys had 24.87 pounds, I believe, go, coming into day three. Looked like just a little over 14 pounds. Uh, it looks like your biggest weight of the three days. You guys needed a five-day tournament. Yeah, just a couple more days, we would have caught up. <laughs> Larry says it takes him a little longer to get started. 14.04 for 38.91 pound to uh, three-day total. Jim, Larry, hope to see you gentlemen back here with us next year. See, you guys are getting it. I say their names, you guys clap. I tell you the weights, you guys clap. We'll get her. We'll get you over to the, uh, to the bar and we'll loosen up the clapping a little bit by the end of today. Joining us now from Devlin, Ontario, Dale LaBelle and from Fort Francis, David Burns, team number 12. Dale, how are you doing today? Uh, we had a lot of fun. We went to New Area today, had nothing to lose. And uh, if I could have got them to the boat, we probably would have had close to 20 pounds. But uh, we only got one in the boat. You guys need a longer net. Well, they got in the darn weeds on me, two of them, and uh, they were big, big fish. And uh, once they got in the weeds, they were done. They were... So you guys figured out a little bit of something for next year? Yeah, we were going to go do it before, but we are afraid of the wind. And I said today, let's just go do it. So we had fun. Got a lot of fish. I see Dave's got a big one he wants to weigh there. Nice fish. Were those other ones like that? Yeah, they were good fish. So how did the young fellows, your grandson and, uh, and Cole are fishing together, how did they, uh, have you heard how they did today? No, but I hope they did good. They, uh, they're pretty pumped up. And that's what's going to keep this tournament going with them young guys. And uh, I'm really glad that they're interested in it. And, and uh, the Hunter Crawler and them guys in Fort France, that's what we need to keep this tournament going, them young guns in here. Absolutely. Very well said. What was that, what'd that one weigh, Dave, that, uh, the big one you weighed in? I think it was about 377, I think. All right. Let's have a look at your day three weight. Come in today with 23.44 pounds. Look like just under 12, I believe, for today. 11.80 pounds, 35.24 pounds for Dale LaBelle and Dave Burns. Good job, guys. Hope to see you back next year. We have another team up on stage. From Lac La Croix, Ontario, we have Les Whitefish, and from Seine River, Tom Johnson, team number 77. See, these guys are loving these Lund hot seats, aren't you? You having fun today? Oh yeah, we had some fun. We didn't get skunked, so. <laughs> Did you get your five fish today, Tom? Yeah, we got five. Awesome. 18.26 pounds. You guys had a good day yesterday, 14.08. A little slow out of the gate. Uh, looks like you got some nice ones again today. <laughs> 11 pounds even, 29.26 pounds for Les and Tom. We can count on you guys to be back next year. All right, good job, guys. The anglers keep it on coming. Team number 85 from International Falls, Minnesota. We have Calvin McKay and from Tallulah, Iowa, or Louisiana. 
Uh, Danny Fontenot. How are you doing? You having fun, Danny? Oh, yeah, it's a blast. Now, how many years have you been up here fishing the Fort Francis tournament? Uh, just the fourth. And uh, how do you find Rainy Lake this year compared to the last few years you fished? Uh, it's better. The, the, the fishing uh, up here just gets better and better every year. I think maybe we learn the lake better. <laughs> Trying to figure out the secrets of those fish a little bit, and they are tricky, aren't they, Calva? Oh, very much so. All right, 11.23 pounds for Calvin and Danny today gives them 20 or 36.84 pounds for their three-day total. All right, good job. Hope to see you back for your fifth year next year, Danny. Now with us, team number 80 from Emo, Ontario, Jim Steele and Kelly Toline. Jim and Kelly had 26.64 pounds on day one and two. Now, uh, Jim, you said Kelly bailed you out yesterday with some good fish near the end. Uh, how'd she do today? Well, she was slacking a little bit today, but uh, no, uh, today was, was an all right day. We fought, fought off a lot of small fish and Got a, an average basket, and we had fun anyway. There's lots of, lots of quiet times, but there were some good times too. Well, you're both still smiling. Looks like you're still talking to each other, so the partners are still talking after day three. It's a, it's a good tournament. 12.03 pounds today for Jim and Kelly, 38.67 pounds, and you're currently in third. <laughs> Jim? We are going to take a quick break but first we want to take a look at our social media pictures hashtag hooked on shop you're on facebook instagram or twitter and are down here taking photos make sure to use that hashtag and we will try to get those photos on air we will be back from the canadian bass championships right after this River Inn and Conference Center is Fort Francis' largest full-service hotel. Featuring casual and fine dining, Copper River Inn welcomes all out-of-town anglers to the Fort Francis Canadian Bass Championship and is a proud sponsor of community programming. Brought to you by Earth Rangers. The warmer it gets, the earlier this melts. Polar bears rely on Arctic sea ice for hunting. If the ice melts too soon, they have trouble catching enough food. I became an Earth Ranger to help scientists learn how we can help save our kings of the Arctic. So what are you waiting for? Let's bring back the wild. Go to earthrangers.com, become an Earth Ranger, and start your polar bear campaign today. As proud presenters of the annual Fort Francis Canadian Bass Championship, Sunset Country Ford extends a warm welcome to all of the competitors. Sunset Country Ford on Kings Highway in Fort Francis and online at sunsetcountryford.com. Hey, I'm Rome. I like being on the farm. I get to play football, ride horses, and just run around. One day I was playing, and I fell, and the lawnmower cut my leg. I'm a safety ambassador, and I have a message for all kids. Life safe, drive safe! Don't let it happen to you. Spot the danger before you play. Play safe! A message from the War Amps. Rainy Lake is actually a large chain of lakes, which from the air looks like the letter L. These waters have 2,200 islands and cover over 227,000 acres. Cottagers and locals alike hit the lake in the thousands, but you would never know because of its great size. This lake has quite the history. It's the remains of the glacial Lake Agassiz, and its rocks are as much as 3.6 billion years old. Rainy Lake is international. Right down the middle of this channel is the border between Fort Francis and International Falls, Minnesota. 70% of the lake is in Canada and anglers in the tournament cannot fish on the American side. 
While boating outside of the tournament, make sure you know where this line is and have your passport handy if you want to cross. Anglers looking for an extraordinary experience filled with multi-species catches love this lake. It's home to pike, walleye, muskies, and of course, a huge population of large and smallmouth bass. The lake is divided into three sections, the North Arm, the South Arm, and Red Gut Bay. The South Arm warms up a little quicker than the rest and spawns fish earlier. Each section offers a slightly different experience which keeps the fishing fresh and exciting. In Fort Francis, I'm Shelley Bougel. Every team that I've talked to over the past three days has so, shown so much love for this tournament and that lake. We are going to head inside the tent to Paul Morrison to check in on more weigh-ins on day three. How, how did it go today for you? Oh, well, we had a better day today. So yesterday we struggled and uh, we caught uh, most of our fish were around 12 inches. So we didn't bother threw them back in. So You didn't want to take them for a boat ride. You just left them where they were. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 12.51 pounds for Randy and Vernon, 26.04 pound, three day total. And uh, we will see you guys back here, I'm sure. Thanks guys. Up next, team 89 from North Mankato, Minnesota. We have Troy Judding in from Prior Lake, Tom Ward. Troy, you guys had 26.05 pounds coming into today. Um, how much did we add to it, you figure? Uh, we didn't do as well today. Well, we haven't been done great all day. Probably 11, 11 and a half, 12 pounds, something like that. We went to an area we've never, ever been before and just figured what place we were in, let's go fishing and see some different part of the lake. It was fun. Had a great time. Thank you, Francis. It was definitely a nice day for a boat ride, for sure. Nice sun was shining, a nice cool breeze, little walleye chop. It was beautiful out there. 11.48 pounds for Troy and Tom on day number three, 37.53 pounds. Good job, guys, and we hope you're back with us next year. Here come some local boys. Make some noise for Fort Francis's Chad Bust and Rick Cooper, team number 29. Rick, how you doing today, buddy? A lot better than yesterday. Yeah, we uh, didn't have any boat troubles today, so. But I gotta give uh, Badooks credit. They stayed late last night, got us on the water today, and uh, hey, you can't beat better service than that. Not only are they great tournament sponsors, but uh, they go out of their way to help the anglers. I know they're down here on the docks in the morning and uh, obviously helped you guys out last night, Chad. Yeah, thanks again. I uh, really appreciate you guys staying late and getting us on the water today. Beautiful day out there on the lake. Can't say the wait was uh, the same, but uh, we had fun and we'll be back again. So thanks, guys. Well, we look forward to having you guys back. Let's have a look at your day three weight. Come on up, you guys. 10.42 pounds for Chad and Rick is 22.30 pounds for their three days. And we'll see you next year. I'm here behind the stage where the anglers are waiting to go on stage. I'm here with Kelly Tolling. You are team number 80. Kelly, who are, where are you from and who are you fishing with today? Um, we're from Emo and I'm fishing with Jim Steele. And this is the, your first time in, the turn, in this tournament. What did you think? This was lots of fun, uh, a lot of hard work, a lot of patience. Yeah. <laughs> that was good. Yeah. We had fun. That's good. And what do you think of Rainy Lake? It's a, it's a pretty big body of water. It's a big body of water. Um, lots of rocks. Yeah, it was it was good, but it's big. Now yeah. you've mentioned you've been in walleye tournaments as well. What do you what what do you like better, the bass or the walleye? Um, I like bass fishing better. How come? <laughs> a little bit more action. Lots of fun. That's what everyone says. That at least the bass fight a little bit. The bass fight, and they give you some a run. It's good. They jump and play. What was your final weight today for the whole tournament? Um, I don't know. No. Well, as long as you had fun, right? Wait, wait. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Well, that's no, good. 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 Well, hopefully you'll come back next year and try again. Yeah, we're good now, probably. Great. Let's go back to the action on the stage. Francis Canadian Bass Championship after three days of fishing. <laughs> All right. Good job, guys. Our next team is from Fort Francis, Ontario. We have Chris Page, his partner from Emo, Ontario. Jade Menard, team number 78. Don't make me make you clap, folks. I gotta get a little squirt gun. How are we doing today, guys? Pretty good. Pretty good, you got a good five fish, right? 
Yep, no trouble catching them, just couldn't get the big bites. Sometimes those big ones are sneaky. I guess that's how, how they get big, right? You bet. See, the bass should understand. We just want to catch them, show them off, and let them go, though. It's not like we're going to slab them up or anything. They should, uh, they should be wanting to get a nice boat ride and show it off in public. No? I haven't met my friends, then. <laughs> <laughs> you got them scared. 11.29 for Chris and Jade today. 36.13 pounds. We we'll hope you're back with us again next year, guys. I'd uh, just like to thank all the volunteers, organizers, and the committee for putting on such a great event and our sponsor, Window Door Store. All right, thanks, guys. Always good to give, a, give your sponsors a shout out. Team number 94 next to way in from Nakachawin in Ontario, Dennis and Glenn Smith. How are you doing, buddy? Hi there, good, pretty good. Look at we're like, kind of like bookends here. Uh, so uh, what was today like for you guys out in the lake? We had a better day today. Yeah. Well, you guys had coming in with about 26, 36, I believe. Uh, how much did we add to that, do you think? I'd say 16, maybe. Nothing wrong with a 16-pound bag on day three. I think they've got them in there now. Nope, they've got them over there now. Pretty close. 15.38 pounds for Dennis and Glenn. Gives you 41.74 pound three-day total. And I know you guys are going to be back next year taking another uh, swing at it, right? Right, we'll be back next year. All right, good job, guys. These guys are all eager today. They're just running right up. I like it. Loving it. Team number 50 joining us now. From St. Paul, Minnesota, we have Doug Staley and from East Bethel, Andy Survey. Finally got it right. It took me three days, but I think we got her. You guys had a bit of a struggle today. Day one wasn't your day. Day two, I mean, those are the ones that you need. If you guys get that 16 pounders for the three days, you're gonna be up here at the end cashing some checks, I think. Um, was it a pretty big learning curve uh, this week for you guys? Oh yeah, yeah, we couldn't. Uh... Yeah, they, we found them in the weeds the second day, but nothing today. There are a lot of spots to hide in the weeds. 6.19 pounds for Doug and Andy, 22.14 pounds. Hope you're back with us again, guys. Remember, folks, the Kiwana Steak Fry is going to happen at 4 p.m. Find the fellas, get yourself a ticket. Five o'clock, the parade of boat starts. Right now, we're gonna be in Winnipeg's Colin and Scott Gluting, team number 79. How are you today? Uh, not bad today, a bit better. Had a lot of fun, that's what matters, so. Well, you guys are still smiling. You had a little bit of fun there. I've seen you guys this morning, uh, you look pretty serious, but uh, you guys got back out there. A little rough day yesterday, and uh, looks like a much better day today. <laughs> yeah, a lot better, a lot more fun, so. Yeah, it's always more fun when you're catching them, isn't it? Absolutely. 11.84 after day one and two. 13.54 for Colin and Scott today. 25.29 pounds. I can count on you guys to be back next year, right? You bet. All right. Flash Mob is going to be on stage tonight, 8 p.m., folks. Only $10 a ticket. So once the fishing's over, stick around. We're going to have the angler presentation, and the band's going to take the stage about 8 o'clock. We're going to have fun. Yeah. Going to blow the doors off the side of the tent. How about that? See, our next team has joined us on stage. Team number 22 from Devlin, Ontario. We have Paul Jewis. And from Van Nuys Heights, Minnesota, Greg Savino. 15.52 on day one for Paul and Greg. They had a little bit of a slip yesterday, 10.30. Today looks like they uh, they got back on the program, Paul. This looks more like your day one weight. Well, it was a lot better day. We caught lots and lots and lots of fish. You know, I mean, it's the same old story. You lose some. We'd have got a couple of the other ones we lost, but that's the way it goes. It's fishing, not catching. Um, just want to make sure to thank all the volunteers here. And, uh, you know, Greg, 
Greg's got a, his shirt on, so you can see his sponsors, Krieger Farms and Strike King. And uh, I did Fort, thank Fort Francis Times and North Otto. They've sponsored me for a lot of years, so it's been nice. And anyways, thanks all the volunteers. Everything's great. They park your truck. You, they do everything. It's been great, really. Good. And good to see you back, Paul. Oh, thanks. It's good to be back. Appreciate it. Now, I'll tell you, those volunteers, they're down here at the crack of dawn. The sun's not even up, and they're up, and they're, uh, they're taking care of guys. They're organizing the traffic. They're doing boat inspections. They're, they're getting everybody on stage, and they're uh, staged in the parking lot, and they're running you back and forth and unhooking boats and taking care of you. It's, uh, it's very nice to have all the volunteers there in the morning. The anglers sure love it, and they get to talk with the, with the crews, right? And it's, uh, it's a lot of fun. It is. It's... it's uh... It's a great event. It's nice to see all the people in the tent here, and I, it's nice for you to come out for our, our the also rans, which is the flight we're in today. Greg, how you doing, buddy? How big was that uh, big bass there? Ah, uh, that was four pounds, right on the button. And uh, what did you say when he said, "How big is it?" I said four pounds. That's a pretty good, uh, pretty good estimation. So our scales and your scales are, are showing pretty close, right? Which is, which is uh, what you like to see. Always good to be lucky. Hey, nice job with the tournament. Very nice. Thanks, buddy. Always a pleasure to have you up here with us. Keep it going for Paul Jewis and Greg Savino, folks. We'll have a look at their day three weight. 15.71 pounds for Paul and Greg. Gives them 41.53 pound three-day total. And that four-pound bass is the current big fish of day number three. Four and a half held up yesterday. You just never know. With us now, we have Ryan Hasty and Derek Harrison, team number 45. Ryan, how you doing today, buddy? Not too bad about yourself. I am doing great. It's Saturday at the Fort Francis Canadian Bass Championship, presented by Sunset Country Ford. All these smiling, happy faces. Look, they're starting to pack in. Where else would you rather be today? Nowhere, actually. Perfect. That's the answer we were looking for. Kind of scared me there when you hesitated. How was your day out there on the lake today, Ryan? Well, we got our five, but... Uh... It was a tough day. We grinded for what we got. We lost one, but really wouldn't have made that big of a difference. And it is what it is. We'll hopefully be back next year. Well, we hope you are back next year. 9.93 or 83 going into today. Let's have a look and see what your five fish weighed. 8.73 today for you. We'll get a, we'll get a different program and we'll get those monsters next year, right? Well, that's the plan. <laughs> All right. Hope you're back again with us next year too, Derek. Good job, guys. There we go. Nice legs. <laughs> Team number 46 on stage with us now from Fort Francis, Ontario. Devin and Travis Stromness, team number 45, 46, 46. How you doing, guys? Uh, we're doing great. We brought in five fish again, so uh, we can't complain. Um, three quality days fishing with my brother. I don't get that too often anymore. And uh, as you can see, neither of us came out of it with the black eyes, so. That's, uh, that's always good. If you can get three days of fishing, especially tournament fishing, it's... Uh, it can get a little stressful at times, can't it? Absolutely, and uh, you know, today, uh, today we just went fishing. Tried a lot of spots that we've never been before, and uh, we brought in five fish, so in our own minds, we're champions. Well, I'll tell you, anybody, all the anglers here are champions, definitely, you guys included. You made the three days, 10.95 pounds. You got 15 fish over the three days, weighing 32.10 pounds. You guys, uh, we're going to let you go and uh, get the names off that boat. Now you can get it all cleaned up and polished off and ready for the next one, right? Absolutely. Be ready to sign it, everybody at the show and shine. Sounds good, guys. Thanks very much. Here comes team number 11 from Fort Francis, Ontario, Ryan Hyatt and Carl Wolf. Carl, how you doing today, buddy? Uh, a lot better. We had a way better day today going fishing the same stuff and... The fish cooperated a lot better. We got one small one in there that's uh, going to cost us for a really big bag, but we also have a really big fish that we'll weigh for big fish. All right, well, one of you fellas go over there, grab that big fish. Joey will get up there and take a picture. He had 17.07 pounds. You guys were fast out of the gate. Stumbled yesterday a little bit. Like you said, the fish just... Uh, they didn't show up where you guys were, or you didn't show up where they were yesterday, and uh, it kind of cost you a bit. But you, you're in Division Two, and uh, there's a couple of beauties there. 
And you, like you said, you're going to weigh one. I think four pounds evens the big fish of the, of the day right now. Sabino and uh, Jewis have. And one of those going to go over four, Carl? Uh, I think it'll go over four. I don't know if it'll hold all day. But uh, it was just nice to see some bigger fish and get us back in the saddle for next year. Definitely back on track. That's looking like a uh, four and a quarter at least. I would think it's going to be somewhere around there. It was 19 and three quarters, so... 4.23 pounds for Ryan Hyatt, Carl Wolf on that one big fish. We'll have a look and see what your day three, five fish total was. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, I'd like to thank our sponsors, Greg Ward Distributors, Bayview Motel, and my mom. All right, anybody else, Ryan? Yeah, ML Care and Electric too, so. I'm sure some of the guys are out there. Thanks a lot. 14.28 pounds today, including that 4.23 pound beauty. 37.90 pound, 14 fish total for Ryan and Carl. You guys put three days like that together tomorrow or next year. A quick thank you to our sponsors, Copper River Inn, Sunset Country Ford, the Great Bear, and the Dukes Equipment. Thank you for making this broadcast possible. We will have more from the Canadian Bass Championships in Fort Francis, Ontario, right after this. Up to one quarter of the world's coastal temperate rainforests are in British Columbia, and they are among the most productive ecosystems on Earth. Everything in the forest has a role, from 400-year-old trees that shelter nesting birds to fallen logs that support new life. We must all work together to conserve the rainforest. To find out more about Canada's rainforests and how you can help protect them, visit hww.ca. Copper River Inn and Conference Center is Fort Francis' largest full-service hotel. Featuring casual and fine dining, Copper River Inn welcomes all out-of-town anglers to the Fort Francis Canadian Bass Championship and is a proud sponsor of community programming. Welcome to One Stop Shopping at the Great Bear, east of Fort Francis. Here you'll find gas, gifts, and plenty of live and artificial baits. Part convenience store and part pro angler shop, the Great Bear is a proud sponsor of community programming. Lots of great photos being sent in to us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. If you have a photograph you want shared on air, just hashtag it, book Don Shaw, and we'll try and get it in the broadcast. We're going to head inside under the tent and check in with more weigh-ins. Fish that you need for a tournament like this, and uh, let's get them next year, I guess. I like to hear it. 10.65 pounds, 36.12 for the three-day total. We'll get them next year, guys. Top Music Productions, Town of Fort Francis, Travelers, The Great Bear, TD Canada Trust, T-Bay Tell, McDonald's, RBC, Safeway, and Shaw. Major sponsors of the Fort Francis Canadian Bass Championship as well. Thank you to all of them for joining us. Thank you to you, spon or to you uh, volunteers out there too. We still need volunteers. We need about 12, I think, earlier today. We still needed 12 for the gate tonight. So if you want to come down, see some good entertainment, help us out, get a nice shirt, come on down. Here comes team number nine from Thunder Bay, Ontario, Glenn LaRue and Trevor Zemak. I think they've got a big fish they want to weigh in there. Four pounds even, Paul Jewis and Greg Savino. No, 4.23 pounds, Ryan Hyatt and Carl Wolf. You got to get you guys to slow down and jo show Joey those fish so he can get a picture of them when you take them out of there. 
You guys want to hold them up? Yeah, sure, hold them up. Glenn and Trevor, part of the closest finish in the history of this tournament. They were dead even with John Austin and Richard Rudd a few years back. Dead even, tied for first place in the Canadian Bass Championship. So these are past champions. Those are the fish they've been looking for all week right there. Glenn, not quite as exciting a tournament for you as when you guys tied, and, uh, but uh, that can happen out here, right? I mean, it's, you think you got them figured out, and from year to year, from day to day, hour to hour, the fish can change on you. Oh, for sure, it changes all the time, and uh, this week we had nothing going solid, so we had a rough tournament, but hey, it ended on a good note. We're happy. 17.40 pounds on day three, uh, 4.17, not quite big enough for the big one of the day but a heck of a basket, 40.90 pound, three day total. You guys definitely got it going on today. Good job, Trevor. Glenn. <laughs> well, I'm here with Kevin Costin. You are in charge of fish care. Now we're behind the tent and this is where the anglers are coming. Can you just explain a bit of what happens here? Okay, well, the anglers, when they uh, bring their fish in with their bags, we uh, put them in the, uh, the plastic crates and we just slowly come along with them until basically they're ready to weigh them. Uh, we keep ice in the tanks. Uh, we put the hoses in there to aerate it, just to keep the fish uh, alive and cool. And, and the whole point of this is to make sure that you don't stress the fish out or, or get, get them upset, I guess. Exactly, yes, yes. And then uh, after that, we've got holding tanks back here. You probably can't see them. They're sectioned off into different areas of the lake. And they are supposed to tell us where they catch them. And then we bag them again and bring them out to the boats and the trucks and we bring them to the different areas of the lake. So, so do you try and put the bass back where they were caught? Yep. Why do you do that? Uh, they've all got uh, home territories. Uh, I can't remember the exact uh, distance on each one, but they will find a different home if, if, if they don't get back to where they uh, were caught. But most times they, they like to go back to where they were caught. So. Okay, well, Kevin, thank you so much for talking with us. Okay, thank you. Let's go back to the action on the stage. Right, Nick? I better be careful. <laughs> Always willing to wheel and deal on the vehicles, right? You want to get yourself in a beautiful Lund boat for a reasonable price. The Hospital Auxiliary are back there, and they're selling tickets. $20 on that 16-foot Lund Fury. It's 50 horsepower, mercury power. You get the trolling motor, you get the trailer, you get a couple of these beautiful seats. Get over there, check it out. And hey, if you win a boat, what the heck? You saved a little bit of money on your, uh, on your recreational activities. Buy one of those new Fords out there to tow it to the lake with. You got a heck of a package. So, Gord, uh, What's going on? We got Division Two guys, right? And uh, you want to explain a little bit of that to the crowd? Well, the bottom half of the field gets to uh, fish for some consolation prizes. Five of them, I think it is, to uh, three uh, top prizes: a uh, big catch and a big uh, fish. So, so they'll fish for that. So everybody has a chance to win something today. That's right. I mean, you can in this tournament, uh, you can have a bad day, and that's that's uh, very frustrating. But the key is you want those guys to still have something to do on day three. You don't want guys just to be right out of it, right? So, uh, so the tournament is... We've seen a lot of them make their way up to the stage over the past three days. Let's take a closer look at the bass. You gotta find big bass if you wanna win. Some days you go out and you can catch 20 pounds in half an hour, and other days you know you're left scratching your head. You never know what's gonna happen out there. Oh, let me hear you scream! Wow, there's a third one, ladies and gentlemen! Are you kidding me? It's a fish known for its fight and considered to be one of the most popular game fish in North America. So let's dive in and take a closer look at the large and smallmouth bass. Here it is, folks! A very adaptable fish, bass can survive in almost any water type, from murky to clear, and can be found in reservoirs, rivers, streams, ponds, and lakes. I like to fish fast, cover as much water as I can, and every day it changes, but you gotta figure out what are those bass relating to and, and put a pattern together from there. 
Depending on the season, bass are found in a variety of depths. They're a fish that love cover, and because of that are most likely found hiding amongst the surroundings. Weeds, stumps, rocks, docks, flooded timber, and rock ledge drop-offs make the perfect hangout for these fish. You want to find big fish that are going to win these tournaments around here? You got to think outside the box, fish stuff that's different, and find that needle in a haystack. That's what I like to do. If you fish the same stuff that everybody else is, you're going to catch average fish, and uh, that's not what's going to win. Largely known as a sport fish, size matters. And while the size is somewhat determined on the lake that you're fishing, the average smallmouth weighs one to two pounds. In a bass fishing tournament like Fort Francis and Kenora, however, it's not uncommon to see a three to four pounder. Well, the top smallie of the day usually weighs in at the four and a half to five pound range. You know, at Rainy Lake at the Fort Francis Canadian Bass Championships, anglers are going to be catching smallmouths down there. There have been a few large mouths brought in, but they're not really ever a factor in the tournament. KBI, we're going to see a lot of large mouths weighed in, and they are a factor, you know, most years. They get a little bit bigger than the smallmouths. You know, you have a shot at a five or six pound fish where with the smallmouths you don't so much. And that's the biggest difference, you know, when you when you look at Lake of the Woods. There's way more smallmouths in the lake but the large mouths get a little bit bigger so it's a little bit of a gamble but if you're fishing to win you probably want to try to mix a few large mouths into your catch. I love to fish for bass just because every day is different it's a challenge you know we use artificial baits we've got some of the best bass fisheries in North America right here in northwestern Ontario so it's fun to do that stuff. Your 2014 Fort Francis Canadian Bass Champions Let's make some noise! Teams are making their way out of the water. Let's head inside and who's on the stage with Paul? Hey today, Braden. Another rough one, that's for sure. Yeah, uh, not what we wanted, but uh, it is what it is, so we'll be back next year for sure. We love to hear that. 11.97 pounds for Keist and Godbout today. 31.91 pound three-day total. We'll regroup and we'll get them next year. Hey, that'll work too. Got to watch those trebles. Our next team from Fort Francis, Ontario, we have Keith Wilson and Ed Morrison, team number 83. Keith, how are you doing today, my friend? Oh, we had a slow day, but we got our five. We had fun. I know I had a lot of laughs with this guy. <laughs> but anyway, I have a big thank you to go out to uh, Travis Chevo for getting my boat ready for me. Awesome job he done on it. Take my boat to him all the time. All right, let's have a look at your day three weight. You had 21.01 pounds coming in. 10.19 today, 31.20 pounds. We hope you guys are back with us again next year. Are we having fun out there, folks? You guys at the back, are you still with us? Are you guys only here for the beer at the back? Is that the deal or? Uh... That's okay too. I'm not judging. Grab yourself. Well, we're waiting for more, more boats to arrive so they can weigh in. And in the meantime, Jeff Gustafson shows us how to rig a bass. Here's some simple techniques. All right, I like to sort of go through a number of different baits when I'm when I'm Texas rigging and flipping. And you know, those first few fish I caught this morning were on a, on a jig, a Northland jungle jig right there. And then I got it bit off just a few minutes ago, so I gotta put a new one of those on. Setting up a new piece of plastic. The, the, on the Texas rig, I like the Texas rig for, you know, those thicker weed areas in general. You can fish it in that open stuff on the rock, weed stuff where I was fishing that jig as well. And that's where I just caught that last fish. But if you're throwing a frog and you get a blow up, you know, in that rice or, you know, thicker stuff, this, you know, package is gonna be a lot more compact to drop in those holes and not get caught up on all the other weeds as much. So this is just a Northland Impulse Beaver and pretty good bait. Um, you know, it's nice and it's got that slim profile, so it's pretty easy to drop in all the, in all those holes. I want to get that hook 
you can kind of measure where where the hook you know fits in perfect but you want it to be totally straight just like that and then the legs kind of come attached so I like to pull them apart and then those you know they'll kind of flap around and have a little bit more action so that's that on the jungle jig now you can actually use these beavers uh, as a they work as a pretty nice trailer on these jigs as well and same thing I'll attach them disattach them and maybe bite off like a quarter half inch off the just so it's not sticking out super far and then just kind of push it up on there and that's a little bit bigger bigger trailer than I was using before but it gives that jig a nice profile and you know that's nothing for a three or four or five pound largemouth to eat that that's the kind of fish we're looking for so I'm gonna tie this on my other rod and we're gonna be back in action there we go that's what we're looking for right there that's a nice largemouth yeah wow <laughs> that's really why another reason why I like to fish with these jigs is they're so efficient you know I can go along I got my trolling motor on like 50 right now and I'm just going along the bank uh, and, and just pitching this jig at every little thing I can find every hole in the weeds rock there's a log um, and those big large moths love these things so that's sweet On the go, keeping hydrated, water on the other side, right? Yeah, there's a little bit of both. How we doing? What's going on over there? The guys are uh, just moving in. Anxiously awaiting more anglers, hey Gord? Yeah, we only got one in the tubs right now, so we'll give them a couple minutes, line up there, and we'll bring them in. Sounds good, sounds good. Lots of, lots of anglers left, lots of fish to weigh in yet. Division one, they'll be coming in. Oh, in about 13 minutes, I think they have to be off the, uh, or off the water, or at least into the area out here. Then we'll get them weighed in. We'll weigh in the, oh, but probably about 30 of those boats or so, 35. And then the top 10 will be lined up here. We'll get those guys out of the water, onto the trailers. Cliffy will get the music queued up. We're gonna have a little bit of fun. What else are we going on? Krevko is out at back, like we said. If you want to go talk to uh, Daryl there, I can see him from here. Has he got anybody over there right now? Ah, he looks pretty quiet back there. Good time to go and talk to him, but we have a little lull in the action. See, there's a bit of a lineup at the bar. That's always good. Get your tickets from the ladies on the uh, left-hand side there, and then go grab yourself an ice cold beverage. They got water, they got pop, they got near beer, if, uh, if that is your thing. Check it out, I believe Grups also has beverages back there. They've got their wild rice burgers and some delicious food. <laughs> Gotta stay hydrated on a day like today. Team 54, they've got their fish in the basket. From Devlin, Ontario, Doug and Solly McBride. Solly, how are you doing today? Yesterday you told me you had that fish in the boat right first off, how was it today? Same kind of action? Good, I did, I did get the first big one. In the, well, it's slow, but it picked up before lunch. It looks like Doug wants you over there to grab a couple of big fish. 10.30 on day one. They had a big increase to 14.92 on day two for 25.22 pounds. Look at those. Holy smokes. There's a couple of beauties right there. I don't know what's bigger, those fish or their smiles. Which one are you weighing? Oh, it's a battle right now because we, I caught the, this one, he caught that one. So we want to know who, who's, got the brag, who's got the bragging rights here. I love it. I love it. Four point two three pounds is the current big fish. Ryan Hyatt and Carl Wolf have that. Those look like they might be a little bigger. 
4.80 pounds. So Doug's was 4.80s. We got Solly's on here now. And Solly's gonna get hers in there. 4.8, is it bigger, Doug? What do you think? I think she's got me. <laughs> oh, I love it. 5.06 pounds for Solly. Nice job. She wants to hold that up for the camera again. You don't mind losing that little side bet, do you, Doug? No, no, that was fun. That was a lot of fun. We had, like I told you on uh, day one, we had some big ones. Couldn't get them, but uh, today we got two of them and Solly snapped one off the same size at the boat too, so it was fun. I guess so. Let's have a look at what that basket of fish weighed. I mean, between the two fish there, there's almost 10 pounds. Wow. 9.84 pounds in those two fish there. 17.14 pounds for Doug and Solly McBride. 5.06 pounds, the current big smallmouth of day number two, or day number three, I should say. Wonderful job. Yeah, that was, uh, like I said before, a lot of fun out there. Uh, Solly was just, she kicked butt all three days. You gotta like that. You don't mind when your partner kicks your butt when they're catching fish like that, right? That's for sure. She did a real good job. Was it a lot of fun, Solly? Oh yeah, it's a grind, but it's, it's an adrenaline rush and it's awesome. It's wonderful out there, out in the rainy lake, in the outdoors, eagles, you know, never know what you'll come up to, and it's beautiful. Beautiful place. Awesome, a beautiful basket of fish. Let's see if that 5.06 holds up, and that, uh, and that big bag holds up for maybe some cash on day number three in the second division. From Nestor Falls, Ontario, we have Mike Gate, and from Morrison, Oliver Gibbons. They make up team number 14, and they're weighing in now. <laughs> Come on over, guys. Mike. How you doing, buddy? Good, good. Well, day today. Well, you guys are still smiling. You're, uh, you had a little bit of adversity, but your guys are still having fun out there and still smacking the big bass. Oh yeah, that's that's all fun. It's such a good tournament, and I mean, if you can't have fun here, you probably shouldn't uh, be out. <laughs> very true. Very true. You guys had uh, 1293 on day one, 1321 on day two, 1437 on day three. A couple more days, and you guys would have been you know, 20 pounders. Yeah, we just, uh, if you're gonna do these things, you gotta take the time to put into it. And, um, I kind of felt like we were pre-fishing. We took today and just, you know, kind of explored and found some new stuff and we'll be back next year. Uh, we look forward to having you. 40.51 pounds for Mike and Oliver. Uh, currently in sixth position overall. So uh, we'll see if, uh, see if that's good enough, maybe make some money. Thanks guys. Solly McBride with the big fish of the day at 5.06 pounds. We will be back from the Canadian Bass Championship right after this. We want to give a quick shout out to our sponsors, the Copper River Inn, Sunset Country Ford, the Great Bear, and Badoop Equipment. Presenters of the annual Fort Francis Canadian Bass Championship, Sunset Country Ford extends a warm welcome to all of the competitors. Sunset Country Ford on Kings Highway in Fort Francis and online at sunsetcountryford.com. Fruits and veggies. They come in all shapes and sizes. And add color and goodness to every meal and snack. So whenever you eat, include fruits and veggies. And mix it up. For information and recipe ideas, visit fruitsandveggies.ca.
Copper River Inn and Conference Center is Fort Francis largest full service hotel. Featuring casual and fine dining, Copper River Inn welcomes all out of town anglers to the Fort Francis Canadian Bass Championship and is a proud sponsor of community programming. Championships from Fort Francis. Those are our hashtag hooked on Shaw photos. If you're on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, make sure to send us our, your photos by hashtagging them with hooked on Shaw. Now, as Paul said, Division One is still making their way, way in, way in for their weigh-ins. Uh, we're going to wrap up the, our part of the broadcast, but we will be back. Yes, we will, and I am the lucky person that gets to talk to the winner after the boat parade because that's something that we always look forward to. Yes, yeah, so we will be back, so stick with us right here on Shaw TV. Helping out the tournament. Our friends at London Mercury, Fort Francis Times, 93-1 The Border, BDO, Bellis Concrete and Rentals, CC Complex, the Travelers, Town of Fort Francis, Top Music Productions, Cliffy back there uh, making me sound loud and not squeaky, which I appreciate after uh, three days of talking. TD Canada Trust, The Great Bear, T Bay Tell, we appreciate that. And uh, many of these sponsors, folks, not only do they donate money, they donate their time down here. Uh, you know, Greg and uh, Greg Gustafson from the Great Bear, he's got his whole family down here. They're helping out. He's a director of the tournament, so um, big round of applause for them as well, for the, uh, for the sponsors that don't only just help us monetarily, but give us bodies. Um, Gillen's another sponsor that sends their people down here in the morning to do our boat checks, so we really appreciate the bodies. Badooks, they've got Al down here in the morning fixing up boats, helping guys get back on the water, so... We really appreciate those sponsors and the time and people that they give us as well. Here comes team number 25 from Fort Francis, Ontario. We have Ray Watson and Norm Wood. How are we doing, Ray? Well, we have five anyway. But pretty small, but there are five of them. Norm, you guys, I tell you what, I, I can see your smiles. You guys are at the Rainier Bridge. I can still see you guys smiling this morning. We're still smiling. <laughs> we are number one yesterday. That was awesome, 31.25 pounds coming in. 